gee, my seatbelts look really great, and they're only two years old, and I haven't hit a wall yet. Why do I have to have it certified? Right, recertified every year. Recertified. Yes, um, we have um, decades of data that shows that, that the nylon or polyester webbing that uh, make up the, the seat belts degrade over time. And, and we've um, done our own testing to back up that data and, and reiterate that, that, yes, the webbing does lose strength over time. Is it just sunlight that affects it, or is there anything it's, else? It's any environmental exposure, um, sunlight, humidity, just existing in a box on sitting on the shelf it's going to lose some strength over time it's just the nature of, of the fibers that make up the, the is webbing. it the is it the elasticity that is affected or i mean it can be it's just the the overall strength the how how much load the webbing itself can can handle before it breaks yeah. um it it also depends on on exposure and there's different types of racing that that the sfi seatbelt specs are used in so you could have, you know, a, a you know, a junior dragster that goes down the the strip maybe six times a year, and then you could have the off-road um, trucks, four by four trucks that are um, exposed to dirt and, and water and mud, and and that that go out every weekend, and those belts are seeing a lot more exposure um, than other types of racing. So. Um, we, the committee, the technical committee that oversees the SFI seatbelt specs, way back in, in 1985, um, using the data that shows the, how, the, how much the seatbelt strength degrades over time, set two years as a reasonable replacement for the webbing. And that does add in some safety factor because yeah. you don't want to get right to the, the um, weak life or weak life extension of the, of the webbing. Before, you and know, these are, and some of these it. people might also be the manufacturers of the material too. I mean, they must know that there's some degradation over time. Too. Correct. That's we have the data from not only the the Webby manufacturers but um, other more independent sources like the U.S. Army did a big report on on seatbelt exposure. And then, like I said, we've we've done our own testing here at our SFI lab to to you know reiterate that. That is still true. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when speaking of seatbelts, I have seatbelts on my car, which might be more than two years old, or uh, seatbelts on airplanes. And, and so, I mean, other belts in the general use probably never get changed. And is the same dynamics that's affecting the racing webbing also affecting those only just on a smaller scale or what? I, I think it's apples and oranges because um, in your streetcar, you're not expecting to crash. Not that you're expecting to crash in a, in a race car, but it's a lot more likely. Yeah. And and you want to have um, the the newest, strongest, best safety equipment on your race car. Um, so we. It's interesting enough, though. The FAA, um, the Federal Aviation mm -hmm. Administration, is starting to look at at, um, a, at maximum life for seatbelts in in. Uh, in airplanes, That's so interesting. yeah, we've we've seen some <clears> or <throat> heard some activity in that in that area. So, um, yeah, it, they they admit that it's something to look at and think about. So, racing and, and the SFI specs and and other other standards as well, um, you know, that have used the the maximum life on the webbing is starting to get looked at. I mean, that we were first. <laughs>